huge fan of Ness. Like, sometimes that character can get on his nerves just because Ness can, like, air dodge out of a lot of things. And, like, his up air is kind of big and obnoxious. But, um, this is, he has beaten a Tata before, too. So it's a magic, like, he's, he's decent at. I like what RZ was trying to do there as well. Ooh, smart. Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's it. That's a stock. That's the first stock already. Well, very well played. I, I like how uh, RZ was really trying to go to see if he can get a, another punish on the side B, but Sozo going for the higher recovery uh, really prevented that from being an option. I think, yeah, I think he just realized he didn't have a jump, and like as soon as he saw that, he knew he could just fair drag down, not even go for the push tool and just take that stock. I'm really glad he didn't too, especially considering he was so far, uh, so far back when he executed the, the fair. Ooh, that frame trap, that was slick. It's definitely something that Soldier's been always been known for is his uh, level of technical play, uh, executing like the most perfect, perfect pivots that we've seen early in the meta. You know? Yeah, at first I like I remember I was like, oh, he just kind of perfect pivots in neutral, and like little did we know that's actually a pretty good option. So mm -hmm. I, I guess we can call Slow Joe an innovator. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> Man, the, the the OG gatekeeper. Good stuff. Yeah, that was very yeah. good. That was a very good use of down tilt. And like this would be a stock lead for RZI if he didn't die at pretty much zero, but but he did die at zero. So here we are. <laughs> oh, that, that's that's stall at the ledge. Gonna take the two frame, but grabs it back off. Uh, a very interesting option to not toss it back off stage, but considering that um, RZI would have had a lot of room to breathe with the back on stage, I can kind of see where it's coming from. Mm -hmm. I feel like Fox can two frame uh, Ness pretty easily. Like it is a bit easy to time that uh, PK Thunder, but uh, still, it like I don't know, maybe just not confident on his timing. I don't really know. But I want to make a quick note here of uh, Slowjo. Nice yeah, that, that was yeah, smart. that was really really smart. Uh, Slowjo doing a lot of things of like rolling in, kind of just moving around and not committing to the options, trying to see what it was that RZ was going to do. No, yeah, that was a really smart Trump because he knew he forced like no regrab. If he regrab, that would have been a pretty free F smash for Slowjo because that F smash does reach below the ledge. And that would have killed it at percent because he was at like what 120. I don't know. Yeah. But um, yeah. Slow Joe knew he'd probably try to jump back on stage. Was ready for it. And uh, yeah, got the up smash. Absolutely. Very well played. Uh, very well. Actually, really well executed. Now that I think about it, that's that was uh, very uh, multiple step levels up in in terms of play. But now we're in game two. Let's see mm -hmm. what he decides to do differently. All right. I was going to say nice start for Slowjo, but uh, good job by RZI to break out of that combo. Almost got something of his own started. I like that Nair. It looked like he was trying to see if he can, uh, if he can get RZI uh, going in. Good stuff. Pops him in. Good follow up. Getting a very good, very solid momentum here. That was a really well spaced up air on his shield. He like up aired and then drifted all the way back and started jabbing. Really couldn't get punished for that. Ooh. And that looked like the, the edge of the upper hitbox, too. No jump for RZI. Ups. Oh, down smash. Right, yeah. do it. Oh, it won't do it. Oh, he didn't yeah, have a jump, jump so yeah. Never mind then. That was a really good punish by Slowjo, because I honestly, like, sometimes when they're free falling like that, it's kind of hard to tell what side they're going to go on. Ooh, is he dead? Nah. Oh, he tried. Man, I'm, really I'm always so terrified time. when I'm recovering against Ness with Yo-Yo. Just because, like, I feel like side B to ledge gets clipped by, like, Yo-Yo so often. So sometimes it really feels like a coin flip as to whether I'm, like, going to live or not. But Slow Joe sneaked by there. Oh, holding shield a little bit too long. Oh! Right, he got greedy. He got greedy. Yeah, there was it was smart. Really he was a stock up. That. He was at 150. So I, I understand the, uh, the, the idea behind it. And, like, maybe if he even traded with that up air, it would have, like, sent him just down. Either way, pretty even game right now. Okay, good stuff. I like, I like that. A lot of just moving back and forth. Really uh, slick interactions and neutral. Probably going to return neutral after this. Oh, no, not at all. They're going to get to the going up. Atata would spike me there. Atata actually goes crazy with those spikes, but it is a little bit of a risky spike, or at least a slow one, so I understand not really using it too much. I feel like sometimes that's what you have to do. You have to really commit to the, uh, to the riskier and less conventional options. I feel like against Fox, it's like a pretty good option, just because like that up B is so slow, so you can do it. Okay. Yep. Yeah, good frame trap, good frame trap. Yeah, this is Fox. Where it's actually now returning neutral. RZI going, going really deep in, trying to see if he can get a good punish on that, but very great power shift coming in, preventing the, the uh, pressure from being, from being realistic, not really needing the space as much. With the down throw. And yeah, he's just been kind of trapping like RZI on these platforms, and whenever RZI does make it back to neutral, he just pops him right back up and starts the frame trap again. That's that's like as vortexy as you can mm -hmm. get, too. Soldier going for the up throw there. I agree that it's, it's a little weird how he's opting for stage control, but at the same time, like, 
he might just be choosing to go for a juggle situation over uh, over a ledge trap. That might just be what he's more comfortable with. Not that uh, Ness has like the best recovery. Oh, very good drift out. Very good drift out, actually. But, uh, Ness not really having the, the best options out of uh, disadvantage here uh, from being juggled. Mm -hmm. That's a little bit of a scary spot for Slow Joe. Ness can definitely kill like with something as a ledge at this point. He's got to be really careful. And RZI is kind of spacing himself like really carefully. Oh my gosh, this is so clutch. Yeah, despite being down, RZI is actually playing pretty safe. But yeah, no amount of safety is really going to save you there. He was just sort of above Fox, which is a really bad position. Like, you're going to mess up eventually to an extent, so. Absolutely. It was only a matter of time. Yeah, yeah. and uh, Slow Joe capitalized. So yeah, well we're going played. to, we've seen a lot of 3-0s. Like, apparently the stream sets have been, uh, the other stream sets have been 3-0s too. Like, Boron 3-0 Josh King, Cheeseballer 3 0 Moniker, Raven King 3 0 Shelter, JT Dunks 3 0 Jimbo Jones, as we just saw, and we might see another 3 0 right now. Well, let's see if RZ can, make, can do something to prevent that from happening. Mm -hmm. I like that very patient start. A lot, of, a lot of times I feel like uh, going really aggressive uh, on Fox, but really haphazardly, is, kind of, is something that you really you almost want, it, want people to do. Right. He gets that turnaround grab, anticipating the approach. Very nice, very nice. Decide not to go for the follow-up up there. Yep. I, I, I just can't get over these pivots, man. <laughs> I just can't get over these pivots. Okay, yeah, gets him, gets him out of that situation. Once you like already committed to going into the upbeat matter, so just commit to it fully. That was uh that was really careful, careful execution there. Ooh, no jump. Oh, oh that was really smart. Mm -hmm. I think what he intended to do is drop down with a fair, but like by doing that he also perfectly positioned himself to snipe that upbeat, so good play by Slow Joe. Taking that stock lead after being down by a little bit. These dash attacks are doing great. That's all. Assaulto immediately going for a, a grab, not even giving Garzi had a chance to commit to uh, commit to shield. Yeah, they get that, but they're, these dash attacks are doing wonders. Good yeah, down stuff. Off. All right. <sighs> oh, that was terrifying. Yeah. Yeah, that was really good though. That was really good. Mm -hmm. was, uh, it worked out in the end. Yeah. Get that up to. Oof, I can just hear Ness is trying to back off. Ooh, that was, that was a really smart play by Slowjo. He was just late. I think he, like, doubted himself for just a split second and wasn't able to time it because of that. But up smash. No doubt there, but doesn't this kill. This battlefield. Ooh. Oh, okay, okay. I like that. I like that. RZI committing to an option, though, unfortunately. We'll get, we'll get snapped out by that up tilt. Putting him back in that situation. Four, three, seven, for now. Caused him off stage. He just completely clipped the, uh, the up -y there. Careful, careful. It's so scary for like Fox, because sometimes Ness can just nair you and kill you. That's not scary for Fox though. The victory screen is certainly something that Fox likes. I love the sound of chimps <laughs> screaming in my ears. <laughs> <Yeah, he, laughs> apparently Slowjo loves that because he's gonna take that set 3-0.